Again, we are called to model Christ. It is not easy. In, in, in the natural, I'm going to call it what it is. It sucks. The flesh doesn't want this. The flesh wants to tell her to go jump in a lake. But how are you going to, how are you going to account to Jesus and say, Lord, I know what you did for me. And then when you called me to do it for her, I told her to go jump in a lake. Man, I believe this with every cell in my body. But what I also believe is that when you're, when you're loving her at that level, that you have an, an air of confidence that says, I'm on the right path. I'm doing the right thing. And win, lose, or draw, I know that I am right with my Creator, and I am doing what He expects me to do. And I also know that, that I love Him and that He works out all things for the good of those who love Him. And that I will be rewarded one way or another in this life or the next. But inside of that space, I can love her like no other man can. No other man is going to love her like that. They're going to tell her to go jump in a lake. And you did not marry a fool or an idiot. So your wife, who is not a fool or an idiot, sees that kind of love. And she says, I am the fool and the idiot. What am I doing leaving a man? who would love me like this. And she comes back. 